Hello, we are joined with Emil and Doombros. Welcome, guys. I like that you have your name on. I said that earlier as well, because I can actually differentiate. But so this has kind of been a long time coming, the rivalry between the brothers who look very identical as well. Okay. So that helps too. How are you guys feeling about the fact that you're going up against each other today for the first time in a forever? Um, I mean, for me, I've been looking forward for this match since I started with eSports, I think. Okay. It's like one of my dreams to like somehow have different paths and end up in this situation, right? Uh, doing this, playing against each other. So for me, this is a very big day. You know, it's special for me. Uh, I would say it's big for me as well, but honestly, playing him uh, is not a big deal. No, okay. <laughs> Obviously, uh, I, I think I had opportunity to play him on Champs. Uh, same in uh, Lokken. Um, and the fact that it's happening now, it's uh, one of the biggest games, I think, of my career to play him, okay. just on a personal level. So. All right. I kind of want to go back to the point that you mentioned about having different paths but still ending up on the same place. How exactly did that happen? Uh, I mean, we started our Valorant careers in the same team. And then we split up. I think I joined FPX because we only needed one coach. And you joined uh, NIP, right? Mm -hmm. NIP, yeah. yeah. And then we just kind of gone on separate ways because we're both aspiring to be head coaches. Mm -hmm. You can't really have two head coaches. Uh, you can with us. We were two head coaches in our previous team, like together. Yeah. So it's possible with twins. But um, yeah, that's basically how it happened. We have the same aspirations. And then you're competing against each other, you know? So yeah. that's been it. I would also say... If we have kind of the same position, you can give each other tips and, and develop kind of together, but in different teams as well. So even though we had different kind of career paths, different teams, mm -hmm. we've still been there to help each other, like give some good tips and... Or give bad tips. Oh, we, bad yeah, tips, yeah. yeah. Throw one at the bus. Yeah. That's all right. Okay, so you gave me good <laughs> bad tips. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> it's leaked now. But as someone who has like three siblings, I know that having that sibling rivalry is pretty much there all the time. You kind of want to top the other. So I guess in that regards, did you guys just sit around the table and be like, yeah, you know what? We both want to be esports coaches. And is that how it went? Um... I mean, I mean the, the whole thing was uh, he was an aspiring Overwatch player, like played in Tier 2. Esports player, not just Overwatch, okay? Like, yeah, esports yeah, yeah. player, sorry. And back in those days, like I would say that you couldn't really supply yourself with like to pay rent and pay food. So I was working at the graveyard and in my mind wanted to support him and his career. Um, and then after how many years? Five years maybe? It took me five years to sustain myself in esports. Oh. I don't know, yeah. I, kind of something like this. Yeah. He, he was supporting me. So I, I went for my dream and then he was helping me by doing an actual job at that the time. That is so wholesome. Uh, and then, yeah, Valorant came out and I wanted to give it a shot. Uh, so I kind of, yeah, took a big, big leap of faith. Emil realized he wasn't good as a player anymore. So the natural <laughs> step is to become a coach because he saw that it was uh, good for me. Yeah. Um, okay. Now, I, I think the advantage I have over him, just because he said that, is I was actually a player before. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, he's always wanted to be a coach. He's always helped, helped me as a player. And then for me, getting older, it's kind of a natural path for me to start coaching. And then after you fail as a coach, you become an analyst. Uh, yeah, or uh, a manager, <laughs> maybe. Or a manager. Never a manager. No? I have too much work to do. No, no, no. <laughs> but, well, fair enough. Thank you guys so much for the very wholesome interview. We're going to be heading over back to the desk. Thank you. Thank you.